said, Billy Grinstead. And Mr. Grinstead, if you'll spell your first and last name for the court report, please. Uh, B-I-L-L-Y, G-R-I-N-S-T-E-A-D. And Mr. Grinstead, my, my mom did teach me better, but I'm going to ask you how old you are. I'm 79. And uh, Mr. Grinstead, uh, did, did you know Tara Grinstead? I did. And uh, how old was, and who was she to you? Tara was my youngest daughter. Uh, and uh, how old was Tara at the time that she went missing in 2005? And she was 30 years old. Now, you said that she was your youngest daughter. Did you have a, a, another child as well? Yes. And who is that? Anita Gaddis. All right. And who is um, the mother of Anita and Tara? Uh, Faith. What is Bennett Grinstead? Okay. And did you and Miss Faith uh, uh, get a divorce at some time? Yes, we did. And when was that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Some time ago? Yes. And are you married presently? Uh, I'm married presently. And who are you married to presently? Connie Grinstead. All right. And how long have you and Miss Connie been married? Uh, 45 years. Now, um, the, the facts uh, about Tara Grinstead, um, did you at some point, you and Miss Connie and Tara all live here in Irwin County? Yes, we did. All right. And when, when was that? Uh, I think it's from about 97 to we moved uh, to Alabama in 2002, I believe. And so, so you lived from, in, in Irwin County from 97 to 2002? Yes. And what did you do and why were you and Miss Connie and, uh, and Tara living here in Irwin County at that time? Well, we were living in Macon and I worked out of... I work for Liberty National Life Insurance, and uh, I was a sales manager with them, and I got promoted to manage the district in Fitzgerald, and uh, I came to Fitzgerald as manager in February of uh, 1995. And where did, do you recall where you lived here in Osceola when you lived in Urban County? Uh, yeah, a couple of blocks back over this way, but I'm not, I'm not sure of the address. Yes, sir. Now, um, when you say over this way, near, near the courthouse here? Yeah. Um, now, when you were living here in Irwin County, did, did Tara live with you here? She did. Um, and at some point, uh, did, did Tara stay here after that, when you, when you lived here? Yes, she... Uh, she did her student teaching here, and then they offered her a job. Uh, when you say student teaching, she, she, that's what she did. That was her job as a, as a teacher. Yes. And you say here, are you talking about in the Irwin County School System? In the Irwin County School System. Now, I'm going to show you what's been marked. Ask you to look at that document for me, please, sir. Are you familiar with that document? I am. And what what is that document? This is her birth certificate. When you say her birth certificate, whose birth certificate? Tara. Tara. Birth certificate. Is that a true and accurate uh, copy of her birth certificate? It is. Judge, at this time I would tender State's Exhibit uh, Number One. Any objection? State's One's admitted without objection. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. Greenstead, when you uh, do you recall the last time that you had uh, you saw Tara? Uh, yes, we. Uh, I 
was a member of the Osceola Baptist Church here. And we put on a uh, golf tournament every year in May uh, for a fundraiser. And I helped with the tournament. And after the tournament was over, we were, uh, my wife and I, Connie, had, uh, went by Tara's house to visit with her then. That's the, that's the last time that I saw Tara. And do, did you speak with her after that? Did you have a time where you spoke with her following the time that you saw her? I spoke with her very often uh, by phone. And do you recall when the last time was you spoke with her on the phone prior to her disappearance in October of 2005? A couple of three weeks prior. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go missing. I have no further Mr. All right, thank you. Any cross-examination, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Grace, thank you for your testimony, sir. Let me ask you one thing, though. Uh, please uh, don't discuss the testimony you've given here with any other witness to the case until our case is concluded, okay? Okay. You're welcome to return to your seat. Call your next witness, please.